Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is on Civil Air Patrol switching their uniforms from the BDUs to the ABUs. So brace yourself and let's get started. Okay, so I'm reading from this little thing that I have right underneath, and it's from a press release made by Civil Air Patrol explaining what happened at the Command Council meeting. Let me go ahead and read that. Today during Civil Air Patrol's Command Council meeting in Arlington, Virginia, Cap National Commander Major General Joe Vasquez sought the opinion of Wing and Richard Commanders throughout the voting process, which on uniform changes and ideas. The objective was to determine whether the Command Council's members were in favor of Cap's the time to pursue changes that require Air Force approval. No uniform changes have been made or approved. The majority of the council concluded that CAP should keep the blue utility uniform as a corporate uniform, which means it won't become a primary uniform and they're not pursuing that as an option. They're pursuing Air Force approval to switch the dark blue ultramarine cloth name tapes, ranks, insignias with silver lettering and stitching. Perfu pursue Air Force approval to switch to the old Air Force style BD uniforms to the new Air Force AB uniforms with certain distinctions, which basically means switching from BDUs to ABUs with some differences between the two ABUs for active and ABUs for enlisted. The was taken was simply a way for Major General Vasquez to gauge the interest from the field. No uniform changes have been approved. It is possible that the Air Force Corps coordination and approval could take up to a year. Um, there are some special distinctions that would be between the two, like the nameplates and boots, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, unfortunately, Civil Air Patrol is not one of the places where you is currently allowed to just buy bulk of ABUs, so that is a currently an issue that we would be running into if we decided to stay with or switch to the ABUs. So a few of the problem solutions or um, philosophies that need to run into choosing if we're going to go to ABUs from BBUs and I think are vital to understand what we're paying attention to are the boots. Now you have the ABUs which currently are with the sage boots and that's what the Air Force wears and the sage is like a tannish greenish kind of color. And then Silver Patrol currently has the black boots with the BBUs. Now boots are very expensive and mine cost about $100 so if we were to switch from the black boots to the sage boots everyone would have to go out and buy a new pair of boots. But if the black boots with the ABUs look ridiculous. Another thing about the Sage boots is you don't actually have to shine them. So that'd be another issue or solution that we'd be coming up with. It's not decided and it hasn't been announced what they're looking into. Although there was a thing a few months ago where there's a picture of Senior was testing out how to how everyone would react to us wearing ABUs and there's one in sage boots and one in black boots. So I don't think it's been decided, I think they're just testing it out still. Now another problem that we run into is that we need to not look like the active um, for sake of soul and valor and some distinctiveness so they don't assume who we are even though we are teenagers. Senior members, it just think about it, it doesn't really go over too well. So that would be a problem that we could run into. So now there's the availability of switching from BDUs to ABUs. Now, Silver Patrol is not currently allowed to just buy bulk of ABUs like I was saying, but BDUs can be hard to find, especially in smaller towns. Surplus stores are not available everywhere, and it can get quite expensive to buy BDUs and all the uniform items needed online. So that'd be a huge problem or issue running into staying with BDUs as it's no longer a uniform used for any branch of the military most surplus stores won't even carry it. So that is something to really think about because it can be harder and harder for people to find them. Whereas the ABUs are easier to find, although you cannot buy them in bulk necessarily as they are for the Air Force and they want to keep their technologies in the ABUs secretive or selective to themselves, if that makes any sense. There's also the cost of switching. Like I was saying about the boots, if they were to issue that to every person, it gets so expensive to issue boots, pants, blouses, um, undershirts, everything to each cadet. We're talking millions of dollars. So unless the Air Force is going to fund that, which why would they, it's going to get so expensive. Um, we're talking everything. I have tons of black shirts, even like activity uniform shirts who wear black, like I went to Nisa, I have a black Nisa shirt. I would no longer be able to wear that. Um, cost of switching uniforms with me having two blouses, two pairs of pants, um, field jacket, 
um, so many materials that I normally would wear, a cover, things like that, I'd have to go out and buy all new. So it would cost $100 for the cadets or hundreds of dollars for the Air Force. Even like when we did it with the BDUs, the Air Force was also switching their uniform, which meant all the old Air Force uniforms went straight to cap and it didn't cost anyone additional money because we weren't buying them. But with Air Force currently wearing the ABUs, there isn't a bunch of just leftover ABUs sitting around for Civil Air Patrol to use. Now people say since we're a part of the total force now that we do need to be wearing the Air Force style uniform, which could be a valid argument, but we still want to remember the stolen valor and there needs to be a distinction between the two. And whether the boots and nameplates are enough to distinct the two people, that's still something that they're going to have to decide. There also is a time frame for switching. Even with the Civil Air Patrol American flag patch, it was almost two and a half years in the time frames that they allowed you to take it off. Now with squadrons, regions, and wings allow pushing up that deadline for uniformity's sake, it's still two and a half years of cap not looking the same, which isn't necessarily a problem, but uniformity is something that we definitely strive for and definitely need. So by having people in BBUs and ABUs, how does that look and how long is that deadline? You're talking like three years at least. So how is that looking? Even though right now we do have corporate styles, even though we have current like multiple uniforms that people could be wearing, they are still uniform across the board. Whereas you, cadets could have the option of BB, BDUs or ABUs for extended periods of time. Now done by polls on Facebook, most people are in favor of switching to ABUs. I think because people just like the idea of change and getting something new. And people also like the sage boots, which I can understand why, but you gotta remember the effectiveness of it being issued to everyone and the uniformity of the people. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'd love to interact with you and th see what you think about it. Also, I just reached 400 subscribers, so thank you so much. It's, it's amazing. I also am about to reach 40,000 views, so thank you once again. I love doing what I'm doing, and I hope that you guys are learning and enjoying from it too. I see you next time in my next video, and until then, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you then. Bye! There will be links below to some of several resources you can find out more about the boots, the uniform, and the press release that Silver Patrol gave. So right now, I'm in the barracks. Um, I'm about to go to staff meeting. No one knows what I'm filming because there's 14 females in here, and they're all taking showers. Getting I just filmed that video twice because the first time I did it, it didn't have audio. Yay!